Hi, welcome to Audiobook Academy. This is a self-paced audiobook. There's no need to keep an eye on things. Just pay attention. Thank you for taking the time to listen. This is a book summary of Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk. It is the ultimate playbook for developing and leveraging a personal brand, and it is available for free download. Gary Vaynerchuk has arguably the most powerful personal brand in the entire online entrepreneurship space, and this is no small accomplishment. For someone who started out by reviewing wines on video for his parents' wine store, this is quite an accomplishment. Now, Gary V, as you may know him, is the owner of an enormous media empire that is centered entirely around his personal brand. That seems like a million years ago now. It's still possible to start building your personal brand today, even if you don't want to hire a full-time videographer to document your daily activities. The three most important lessons to take away from crushing it are as follows. There are a plethora of options available for developing a personal brand. Developing your personal brand does not have to be a time-consuming endeavor. The future of communication is spoken word media. In the first lesson, we learn that there are many different ways to develop a personal brand. In order to achieve your goals, there are now more tools than ever available to help you launch your personal brand. Each platform has something that distinguishes it from the others. It is impossible to launch on all platforms at the same time and do so successfully, so selecting the most appropriate platform is essential. Facebook is still the most popular social media platform on the planet. It has incredible targeting capabilities and is the most sophisticated tool available for advertising. Snapchat is not recommended for those just starting out because it is nearly impossible to be discovered without an audience on the platform. YouTube YouTube is the second most popular search engine on the internet after Google. No matter what your niche is, there is a YouTube audience for you to reach out to. An excellent combination of the perfectly placed artistic images of a timeline and the raw footage of an Instagram story is achieved on Instagram. You should use Instagram to promote your business or interests if they are highly visual in nature. The use of Twitter can be extremely beneficial if you are trying to reach a specific target market. Every day, you can participate in the same conversation with influencers. Twitter is frequently the only social media platform where the majority of influencers are active, automating their Facebook and Instagram. Learning objective number two, creating your personal brand does not have to be exhaustive in scope. Even just looking at Gary Vee's daily content can be exhausting in and of itself. To think about how exhausting it must have been to put it together. Having to make your personal life public is something that many business owners find difficult to do when launching an online personal brand. You can, however, begin with a small investment. There was a high school art teacher who started documenting his after-school art lessons, according to the books. His page quickly grew in popularity, and he is now earning an additional $30,000 on the side. The author points out that documenting, rather than creating, your brand is a great way to establish your identity. So. Instead of starting from scratch with daily content, start by documenting what you're already doing in your field. Lesson 3, Spoken Word Media is the Wave of the Future. Podcasts are not a new medium, but they are becoming increasingly popular as a result of their increasing popularity. And the reason for this is self-evident. Given that we are constantly engaged in some activity, it is rare that we can all sit down and watch a YouTube video together. Because podcasts are only available in audio format. People listen to them on a regular basis. You can listen to a podcast while working out, driving, preparing dinner, getting ready in the morning, or doing anything else you want, in fact. The popularity of audio-only media is also increasing, with in-home devices becoming a standard feature in many households around the world. My personal takeaway from this. As I previously stated, just looking at Gary Vee's work makes me want to take a long, relaxing nap. What I like about this book, on the other hand, is that you don't have to worry about creating new content for each and every platform. To begin, it is a good idea to keep track of what you already do. Personally, I don't see myself utilizing all of these platforms in the future. Before now, I had dabbled in the worlds of Instagram and YouTube, but it just didn't feel right to me. Who knows what will happen in the future, though. Consider one way in which you can improve your personal branding. Perhaps it is necessary to increase reliance on a particular form of social media. We frequently find ourselves attempting to juggle multiple platforms at the same time, which results in burnout. Instead, identify the platform that produces the best results for you and devote all of your efforts to it. This book is ideal for anyone who is already in charge of a business but is having difficulty growing it in the digital age. I would also recommend this book to someone who wants to start a side business but is content to sit around and wait for money to come in. Crush It! was published in 2009 by Gary Vaynerchuk 
a name that you're almost certainly already familiar with if you're familiar with modern business and marketing strategies. What is the promise? The mission of Von Yerchuk's company is to teach entrepreneurs how to monetize their passion through the use of social media to build a strong personal brand that attracts customers and advertisers to their websites, as well as transform them into trusted experts or entertainment figures that brands and outlets would pay them to speak, consult, and attend events. Crush It! was one of the very first books to suggest that now was the time to build a strong personal brand and earn money from your own likes and dislikes, literally, and it was one of the first books to do so. True. The word influencer was never mentioned in the book, but if the description above doesn't spell influencer for you, then you're not reading the description properly. And influencer marketing is becoming increasingly popular today. Just a few relevant statistics are more than sufficient to support Von Yerchuk's claims. As television viewership declines year after year, YouTube's daily viewership is closing in on television's 1.25 billion hours per day, one in every five minutes spent on mobile is spent on Facebook's apps and services, every minute. 65,900 videos and photos are posted on Instagram, every day, over 3 billion snaps are created on Snapchat. Where over 60% of advertisements are watched with the audio turned on. Even with only a thousand followers, an entry-level Instagrammer could earn approximately $5,000 per year with just two posts per week, and an Instagrammer with 10,000 followers could earn nearly $20,000 per year, according to the study. Considering professional opportunities, Vaynerchuk asserts that this is the best time to be alive in the history of humankind when it comes to being alive. So, what are you waiting for? Get started today. 2. What, still, matters in the end. The author, Gary Vaynerchuk, writes at the beginning of the second chapter, while it can be difficult to pinpoint why some influencers build attractive, lucrative personal brands that succeed beyond their wildest expectations. It is not difficult to figure out why so many people who attempt to do so fail. In general, he continues, it's because they're devoting their time and resources to the wrong endeavors. They are concerned, but not sufficiently so about what really matters. And what really matters is a fairly short list, intent, authenticity, passion, patience, speed, work, and attention, according to the author. Look at them all one by one, shall we? Intent. Everything begins with your intention, also known as your why. To put it another way, before embarking on any business venture, ask yourself why you want to be an entrepreneur and or why you want to be an influencer. If the answer is that it is because of the money, you can be certain that you will fail from the beginning. All of these reasons are excellent reasons to start a business, whether it's to share your knowledge or to assist others, to have fun while working on a creative outlet or to foster community, to create something that will last a lifetime or to help others enjoy their lives more. Making money, on the other hand, is not. In order to achieve your goals, organize your activities around three altruistic values, a commitment to service, a desire to add value, and a passion for teaching. And Vaynerchuk assures you that you will not be disappointed. Authenticity. As soon as you express yourself authentically, your intent will be evident. False advertising often begins well, but the public is very good at recognizing fakes, which leads to their failure in the long run. Authenticity. As Vaynerchuk correctly observes, is a welcome relief to consumers who live in a society where they constantly feel that they are being taken advantage of or that they are only hearing parts of the whole story. Passion. For those of you who have seen the film Dead Poets Society, you will already be aware that passion is the starting point for not only business, but also for real, authentic life. You know why, don't you? Because things are bound to get tough at some point. And if you don't have a strong sense of purpose in what you're doing, you'll most likely give up when this happens. We're only here on this planet for a short period of time, writes Vaynerchuk, and the majority of our adult days are spent at our jobs. It is worthwhile to take the necessary steps to ensure that those hours are as rewarding, productive, and enjoyable as possible. Patience. A little known fact is that the money will not begin to flow immediately after signing the agreement. On the contrary, you'll have to put in the effort for a long period of time, almost entirely without the benefit of an audience or, consequently, without receiving feedback. Even if the money does eventually arrive, you will need to reinvest it back into your company in order for it to continue to grow. Many people are impatient, and they spend their money right away on watches, suits, and other flashy items, depriving themselves of the opportunity to invest their money in something more worthwhile in the long run. Make sure you are not one of those people, be patient. Speed. Even though it may seem strange to follow up on patience with a call to action, Vaynerchuk is quick to point out that this is not in fact a contradiction. And this is due to the fact that, whereas patience is for the long term, speed is for the immediate. 
To put it another way, the world is spinning at breakneck speed these days, so gravitate toward things that will make you more efficient and allow you to complete your tasks more quickly. After all, someone else will take your place if you don't act now. According to Vaynerchuk, you must be in the mode all of the time, even if that means making a lot of mistakes. His inner Wayne Gretzky shines through as he writes, being unafraid of making mistakes makes everything easy for me. Disregarding what other people think allows you to take action, and taking action allows you to win or learn from a loss, which means you win in either case. Hear me out, you are better off being wrong 10 times and being right 3 times than you are if you only try 3 times and get it right every time. Work. In the book, this lesson is highlighted in bold because it is so important, when you first start out, there is no time for leisure activities. That is why entrepreneurship is considered a young man's game. It takes a lot of stamina to get your business and personal brand off the ground in the first place. It's never too early to begin a new endeavor. Attention. As previously stated, things are changing quickly in today's world, and it will be your mistake if you become too comfortable on one platform and neglect to develop solid skills on the others. Everyone and everything must be taken into consideration, including trends, controversies, scandals, other influencers, and entrepreneurs. Trying to decide whether or not to open an Instagram account brings back memories, don't you think? People had already mastered it at the time, so it was no surprise. They might be millionaires right now. 3. The eighth essential, content, is a must-have. Speaking of mastering things, it appears that there is one that you do not actually need to master. And that one is the eighth thing that matters, the eighth essential, content, which is the eighth essential. Too many people believe that they will never be able to master editing, camera work, lighting, movements, or writing style. This is simply not true. And it's for this reason that they never start creating content. To be effective in influencing, however, you must maintain a high level of consistency in your content creation while also producing high quality content. A much better option than spending time learning how to use Adobe Premiere before beginning to produce it is to simply begin documenting your life, as Vaynerchuk does. He employs a videographer who films almost everything he does, except confidential meetings and bathroom visits. You know why, don't you? Since you are, at the very least, a genuine voice when you document your life on a daily basis, you should consider yourself to be so. Even so, it's already more than many people can afford to spend. 4. What is it that is holding you back? A well-known figure on social media entrepreneur, according to Sean Shanduris McBride, is defined as someone who finds a way to do things. Moreover, you are well aware that a failed entrepreneur is someone who looks for reasons to justify their failure. The following are the three most frequently cited reasons for not doing something. Among the fears are, failure, wasting time, and appearing insignificant. Gary Vaynerchuk's three pieces of advice for overcoming these three fears are as follows, in no particular order. There will always be people in your immediate vicinity who will tell you not to do certain things. You must allow yourself to be the sole judge and jury in your own life. Despite the fact that school and the 9 to 5 grind are not going away. People are so afraid that if they try to start a business, they will be wasting their time, even if their time is not valuable, she says. Everyone is a jerk until they become a trailblazer. Crushing it is the only thing you need to give yourself to achieve success. Aside from a few anecdotes and success stories, this is almost certainly one of the shortest chapters you'll ever come across. It is comprised of only one word, which provides an answer to the implied question posed by the title. Permission. 2. Construct your supporting pillar. 6. First and foremost, do this. The author, Gary Vaynerchuk, states unequivocally that no matter what kind of influencer you want to become, everyone must begin with this step. Create a Facebook business page. Developing a personal brand starts with the very first, non-negotiable step, which is also the most expensive. 7. Make yourself known. You must begin creating and developing breakthrough opportunities for yourself as soon as you create a Facebook page. You can do this in two ways. Hashtags, i.e., reaching out directly to people and offering something of value in exchange for their attention, a strategy that requires an unbelievably long grind, direct messaging, i.e., reaching out directly to people and offering something of value in exchange for their attention, a strategy that requires an unbelievably long grind. In this case, the keywords are unbelievably long grind, as you can see. In most cases, this means that it will take years rather than months before you are discovered. If that bothers you, Vaynerchuk says, then close the book. However, if this is not the case, then the following pages of the book, basically, the second half of the book, 
will contain Vaynerchuk's reviews as well as 101 introductions to the most popular social media platforms currently in use. 8. In terms of music. During the time that the books were being published, Musical.ly was purchased by TikTok, and it is now known by the brand name TikTok. You want to be famous, don't you? I'm surprised I've never heard of it before. This is due to the fact that you are not between the ages of 7 and 17. If you were, you would have been one of the hundreds of millions of preteens and teenagers who regularly use this platform to share extremely brief videos with their friends and family. In fact, one out of every six teenagers is most enthusiastic about the musical. There is no such thing as Ali, not Twitter, not Facebook, not Instagram, or Snapchat. Musical performers and entertainers are the best candidates. For those who work in the entertainment industry, whether as a comedian, a dancer, or a singer, Lee is the way to go. As a result, what are you waiting for? The clock is ticking. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Snapchat is number 9. Gary is a big fan of Snapchat, and he believes that it is one of the most underappreciated platforms for developing one's personal brand online. After all, with approximately 200 million daily active users, it's only natural that it should be. Another reason why Gary enjoys Snapchat is that it allows him to be himself as a genuine human being in front of the world. Snapchat stories, in contrast to the unreal photos shared on Instagram, are unedited and unshareable, but that is precisely what makes them so appealing. True, it may be difficult for marketers to establish a brand without the use of hashtags and with content that self-destructs. However, not making immediate sales is a small price to pay for being your most authentic and unfiltered self in front of your audience. Keep in mind that authenticity always wins over people. And it is people who bring in the money. Twitter is number 10. Gary has the best definition of Twitter we've ever read, and it's from the source. The water cooler of society is Twitter, it is the place where everyone goes to get the latest updates on whatever news or popular culture event is taking place at the time. Its only difference now is that, whereas office workers previously had to wait until the day after an event to gather around and share their knowledge and opinions, now that conversation can take place in real time, around the clock. As a result, Twitter is focused on two of the seven essential characteristics, speed and attention. Grab the latest trends and stories and use Twitter's influence to put yourself one step ahead in the game. YouTube is number 11. As we mentioned in our summary of the first chapter, television has nothing on YouTube, which is a video platform that is so large that it should not even be considered for consideration. On the contrary, start putting it to use right away. Of course, you may believe that you are uninteresting and that you have no video skills at all, but, as we previously stated, this is irrelevant to the discussion. YouTube is so large that no matter how specific your niche is, you will almost certainly find some kind of audience on it. Consider this, there are videos with more than half a million views that are solely dedicated to garage sales and nothing else. What is it about them that is so intriguing? You have inquired. Exactly. As a result, begin documenting your life and your interests. And make sure to upload your videos to YouTube. As long as no one finds out about them, you'll have nothing to be embarrassed about. If someone does, you've got yourself a potential subscriber on your hands. Facebook is number 12. As previously stated, Setting up a Facebook page should be the first step in the process of starting any type of business venture. You should ignore any and all of the people who claim that Facebook is no longer relevant, they have been claiming this for years, and the most recent data we have shows that Facebook is still one of the most popular websites on the internet. It also has the advantage of being the most effective social media platform for reaching your target audience. This is true even if you have a limited financial means. Several Facebook marketing-related books, including Facebook Marketing Like M5 and The Complete Guide to Facebook Ads, have already been summarized on this site, so what are you still waiting for? Make a start on something. Instagram is number 13. There's no better way to connect with other influencers than through the platform of Instagram itself. You know why, don't you? There are three reasons for this. 1. It is the network of young people. 2. It is the location where the majority of influencers are. And 3. It is the location where you can send them a private message. Even though Instagram may appear to be overly polished, we've never heard anyone complain that there's a disproportionate amount of beauty or sunlight in those photos. Aside from that, there isn't another social media platform where an egg is the most liked photo of all time. Podcasts are number 14. People nowadays are simply too busy to read or watch films when they do have the opportunity to do so. Because, well, they never do, they're usually engaged in some other activity. And if doing something else necessitates taking the bus or the subway, it feels like time has been wasted. As a result, 
The podcast's appeal is founded on this premise. Why would you read this summary when you can listen to it from beginning to end on the go instead? The only thing you need to do if that feels like a rhetorical question is to start your own podcast. Podcasts are better than YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram combined for introverts because you never have to show your face while still building an audience of thousands or even tens of thousands of listeners at the same time. Voice first is the 15th feature. You can communicate with your audience through voice first content delivered through digital assistants such as Google's Assistant or Amazon's Alexa, if you are shy and concerned that the podcast market is overcrowded today. Gary believes that voice first interaction is the way of the future. And he's usually correct, don't you think? The most important takeaways from crushing it. The following are the eight most important factors to consider when starting a business. 2. Overcome the three fears that are holding you back from pursuing your entrepreneurial dreams. 3. Create a Facebook business page, and then rummage through the social media platforms to find relevant content. This is a list of the 8 most important things to consider when starting a business in 2018. In the words of Gary Vaynerchuk, entrepreneurs who fail to succeed aren't failures because they don't care, rather, they are failures because they care about the wrong things in life. And he believes that there are only 8 things worth caring about, having the right intent, being authentic, being passionate about your job, being patient, being fast, hard work, being attentive to new trends, and creating high quality and consistent content are the most important factors. Conquer the three fears that are holding you back from becoming a successful entrepreneur. A common source of discouragement for many young people is their fear of abandoning their dreams. Vaynerchuk believes that all of these fears fall into one of three categories, the fear of failure, the fear of wasting time, and the fear of appearing insincere or foolish. Everyone who tries fails, but those who don't try have already failed because they haven't tried. An even more important truth is that you're already wasting your time and that you're not being vain if you share knowledge with other people who are interested in having that knowledge shared with them as well. So stop ruminating and get to work on something. Then go through the various social media platforms to find your business page on Facebook. The first step in starting a business is creating a Facebook page, which will serve as the central hub for your social media presence. In order to be discovered, you should make use of hashtags and direct messages in an intelligent manner. Every platform available to you TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, podcasts, and voice first, can assist you in accomplishing this, so familiarize yourself with them and take advantage of their advantages to make your mark. This process can take years at a time, so be prepared to put in the effort. Also, be prepared to put up with it. Do you agree with this summary? Download our free 12-minute app for even more amazing summaries and audiobooks, which you can get by clicking here. All that remains is for you to make the decision to actually do it. I'm completely fed up with making excuses. Why not branch out and try something new? Keep your spirits up, be patient, keep your mouth shut, and get to work. Always reinvest your earnings back into your company. If you aren't completely satisfied with your life right now, it is never a waste of time to try something new that might help you achieve your goals. When it comes to professional opportunities, this is the most advantageous period in the history of humankind to be alive at this time. You may find that what worked for me does not work for you, and vice versa. That is why self-awareness is so important, you must always be true to your own values and beliefs. One of the reasons why Gary Vaynerchuk is regarded as an expert in the field of social media is that he not only talks the talk, but he also walks the walk. In addition to being a constant presence there. Vaynerchuk has established himself as someone who should be followed because he adheres to the appropriate trends and follows the right things. The same can be said for his books, and crushing it. Is no exception, there's a reason why this book became an instant number one New York Times bestseller, and why celebrities such as John Mayer and Dwayne The Rock Johnson have endorsed it. It's because Vaynerchuk's strategies are effective in the real world as well. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Please don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. See you in next audio book.